Exclusive, Mr. Trump told Puerto Ricans that their crisis had thrown the budget out of W, but his golf trips since taking office are not cheap. Either Air Force One arriving in Puerto Rico in October AFP, Getty Images as the six-month Hurricane Maria's landfall on Puerto Rico approaches, a new analysis shows that President Donald Trump's personal travel costs could have covered a considerable portion of the present-day costs for continued aid to the island, which remains without power in some pockets and still relies on federal relief even as some agencies have threatened to end their efforts. While Mr. Trump told Puerto Ricans that their humanitarian crisis had thrown the U.S. budget out of W in October, Mr. Trump's personal trips since becoming president have racked up a hefty bill as well. How much? Just over 90% of the $36 million it costs the Federal Emergency Management Agency operations to deliver food and water to the island for three months, according to the study conducted by document company Form Swift. There's just an enormous waste of money and energy that the study shows, Maya Wald, an analyst with the company, told The Independent. The analysis, conducted by comparing FEMA food and water costs for the island to estimated costs of presidential travel, finds that just the president's personal travel could have paid for 87.6 percent, or $31 million worth for the costs for three months. That includes personal trips to Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort, in Florida, his golf club in New Jersey, and trips where Mr. Trump held campaign rallies. Melania Trump's travel costs could have paid for roughly 2.5%, $900,000, of the FEMA costs. While many parts of Puerto Rico have seen meaningful recovery since Maria made landfall in September, 200,000 families and businesses are still without power in what has become the United States' longest blackout in U.S. history. Some areas remain without access to potable water from faucets, making bottled water from agencies like FEMA a lifeline for some residents. Carmen Yulan Cruz, the mayor of San Juan and a prominent critic of the disaster relief efforts, says that recovery efforts are evident, but not enough is actually getting done. We are facing putting together a massive recovery effort. And that is part of the problem, Ms. Cruz said recently during an appearance on Democracy Now! It doesn't seem, wheels are spinning, but things don't seem to get off the ground. The botched effort continues to be deciphered, Ms. Wald says that her company was inspired to conduct their study after FEMA announced in late January that it would hand over responsibility for the distribution of food and water to local government. That announcement, four months after Maria's landfall, was quickly pulled back after public outcry from federal lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Included in the analysis are an August trip to Arizona, where he held a campaign rally in Phoenix after a quick stop in Yuma to visit the Border Patrol, as well as a trip to Alabama in September when Mr. Trump campaigned for a candidate in the state's Republican primary for Senate. Among the biggest bills for Mr. Trump's travel is for Coast Guard security off the coast of Florida while he is visiting Mar-a-Lago, since the resort is so close to the Atlantic Ocean. The White House did not respond to requests for comment on this story. There is no decision to stop distribution of commodities. As progress continues from response to recovery across the island, we will continue to support the needs of survivors supporting the government of Puerto Rico, FEMA spokesperson Daniel Yargs told The Independent in an email, when asked about previous reports that the agency had considered ending distribution of food and water. This is not the first time that a president has received criticism for personal travel costs, though Mr. Trump's penchant for flying to his lavish Florida resort, he has spent at least 57 days there so far, has certainly raised eyebrows among even those who recognize that the costs associated with protecting and transporting a president are always going to be high. Mr. Trump, as a private citizen and then as a candidate for president, was a frequent critic of his predecessor Barack Obama's travel costs, which estimates put at roughly $106 million during his eight years in the Oval Office for things like vacations at Martha's Vineyard and winter retreats to Hawaii. But, the president is commonly projected to end up costing the American taxpayer much more for personal travel if he is in the White House for eight years. While the exact costs of presidential travel for any president, including Mr. Obama, are not publicly disclosed, Mr. Trump's travel costs have been estimated to be roughly $700,000 more per month than his predecessor's monthly average. According to analysis by the conservative Watcock Judicial Watch, which frequently sues the federal government for access to presidential travel costs, and has been able to come up with estimates based upon previously disclosed costs for travel, more about, Donald Trump Puerto Rico Hurricane Maria Melania Trump Reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more.